According to a recent study of water supplies, more than 60 million people in Pakistan are at high risk from the deadly chemical arsenic found in the groundwater. And experts say that long-term exposure to this chemical can cause serious health conditions. Arsenic levels are rising across Pakistan as people increasingly drop from the country's underground aquifers. The government is concerned. Yes, water is a problem. It is getting contaminated. Arsenic levels are rising. The needfuls are not being done. Clean drinking water is one issue today. The water of sewerage, disposal of that water is another issue. These are two serious issues because, you know, let, let's be very honest about it, what is happening. Over a period of time, certain plannings which were required to be there are not there. Towns are not planned accordingly. Uh, this is a mushroom growth all around. Everybody is sitting where he wants to sit. You start digging water from uh, excreting it and putting your own tube wells and things. So uh, a national water policy is required today. This is Naya, a small village located some 60 kilometers away from Lahore, near the Pakistan-India border. Home to over 400 families, the village mostly relies on agriculture. 80-year-old Muhammad Sharif says the last decade has seen the physical health of villagers deteriorate. There is no proper water supply system. The underground pipes are broken and it mixes with the open sewerage lines. We are forced to drink this dirty water. Its smell is terrible. Arsenic, a semi-metallic element, is found all over the world in varying concentrations. Humans come into contact with it as it leaches into groundwater from rocks and sediments. Health officials say there is no cure for arsenic poisoning. Cancer is for sure, and there are other diseases also. This is calamity. There are so many deaths due to polio, I mean, due to, due, due to cholera, due to typhoid, due to hepatitis. Figures are literally mind-boggling. The WHO considers arsenic concentrations above 10 micrograms per litre to be dangerous. In Pakistan, the government says that 50 micrograms per litre is acceptable. But Hazur Hussain, another villager, does not know what arsenic is. And when asked, he said no government official has ever visited their village. The Ruhi is a river of sewerage. It passes by our village, coming from Kasur and other cities. It is full of filth and no matter how deep we dig our wells, the water is always dirty. Most of the children in this village have hepatitis and the elders suffer from cancer. There is no hospital nearby and we can't afford to take the sick ones to the cities. We are poor people. Pakistan Council of Research in Water Resources says over 80% of the country's population lacks access to safe drinking water, despite spending nearly 300 million rupees on the project called Provision of Safe Drinking Water. For Pakistan, the problem has become urgent. Poor villagers are the worst affected. Experts say the government should immediately discourage the indiscriminate groundwater exploitation, a first step that could prevent the situation from exacerbating. Danyal Khan, CGTN, Naya Village, Southeast Pakistan.